my name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I'm viewing Replica by the Fireplace. Perfectly androgynous, the Replica by the Fireplace at a toilet. A snapshot in time. Made with fruity, spicy, sharp top notes of pink pepper, orange flower petals and clove oil. Like a pile of fresh firewood. Heavy middle notes of chestnut accord, yak wood and cade oil. Balanced with a sweet base notes of vanilla accord and balsams cashmarin. We like toasted marshmallows in front of the flame. I do not like uh, toasted marshmallows. The price is 30 mil is 49 pounds and 100 mil is 99 pounds. Do we have our bottles of replica by the fireplace? I'm engaged with the higher self. Let's get testing. So this is the most information I've ever seen in a box. Cute little bottle. This is an eau de toilette and you can feel it's an eau de toilette because it's, it just feels very damp. You can feel the water. has got sort of that smoky, vanilla-y finish. That's immediately the first note you'll pick with, and that is the yak wood smokiness that's uh, coming through, combined with the pepper and combined with patchouli. You can smell the sort of the, you know, the cade oil. You can smell the, uh, the birch tar and cade oil, and all that sort of stuff is really hard to work with. It's very dominant, and you have to get your dilutions, and you have to get your, you have to work with it right, otherwise it just overpowers the whole thing and nobody really wants this. This is smoky for tonic. What I'm also detecting now, now it's sort of settling down. Initially, I was getting this sort of, the sort of the smokiness to it and then the sort of vanilla molecules and the C18. I was getting that sweet thing, first of all. And now I'm picking up on the Hedion and the Isui Super and the vanilla and the Kashmarin. That's kind of the top of it. And that's the Kashmarin is solid at room temperature and it can give support to a formulation, but it can also aid in projection and it can clean up a formulation. I don't much like working with things like that. When you heat them up, they're not particularly the nicest to work with. They tend to get everywhere, even if you're very neat. And then you have to sort of scrape them off the sort of worktops and things. Anyway, it has a sweetness to it. And this is the ethyl maltol whipping through the base, giving what would potentially be quite a dry, woody fragrance. You know, just makes it more likable if this is sweetened off slightly. The woody aspect is the timbrol or norlimbanol. That's quite apparent as well. And to norlimbanol combined with the cashmere is really nice. You get like this effervescence. It smells a bit tobacco-y as well. I don't know if you feel that. It smells a bit tobacco-y and that's probably... It's a raw material. Lots of raw materials and give it a tobacco we feel. It's one called Trimo Fix. Very unpalatable. It can give tobacco nuances to a formulation. This is a tobacco nuance to the formulation. And Broxin helping to give the dryness. It's quite dry, this. Quite dry. And Woods, on to my final thoughts. I kind of think it's very interesting sort of smell. I think it's been crafted really well. It has enough of the heliotrope and vanilla and C18 molecules, ethyl maltol to smell quite delicious smelling. But there's something I'm a little bit unsure about, as you can sort of tell. Um, I think it's this niche perfumery, so it's absolutely not going to be for um, everyone. So I'll go to my final marks box. I mean, it's insane. Absolutely safe, legal, compliant. This is probably the most compliant legal box I've ever seen. I quite like on the front. It's very cool. The style composition, memory, in a fragrance, fragrance description, burning wood and chestnut, period. Yeah, quite like it's quite cool. I think it's, it's, it's quite cool, but for 30 minutes, quite expensive. I think it's quite nice. It smells quite French. What it's reminded me of, Serge Luton's sort of formulation. I really like Serge Luton's. Uh, they're very strong, very powerful. And to me, I think I would have loved a bit more, a few more wood compounds in this, and I would have loved it a bit richer. It smells sort of quite light and airy but i think it's very nice it's just really not for me i'm gonna mark it an eight out of ten i think it's nothing wrong with it i think the price is okay uh, but it's really kind of not for me i kind of i think i'm moving into a direction where i don't really want to smell like i've been by the fireplace to be perfectly honest with you but i imagine there's people out there that just love it because it's cool and different and it's interesting and not a lot of people have heard of this brand you know compared to other brands but it's yeah it's cool so if you love that review thumbs up and subscribe more fascinating Interesting content, lots of moving hands, and lots of fragrance views. Hope staying safe and well. See you soon.